Hi guys. We can thank Mike Flight for this idea. He remembers doing these in his youth. He suggested I should have a go at one. Uh, if I can remember how to fold it. Yeah. Try that again. You have to flick it fast and the inside flips out and makes that popping noise. In fact, you probably ought to get two out of there. Camera's having trouble. <laughs> Seems to work anyway. Right, see if I can remember how I folded that. This is some slightly thicker paper, so I don't know if that'll be better or worse. Mm. That was a flat we looked at sometime in the past. Okay, fold it up the middle. Not quite sure what you call this. A paper snapper, a paper popper. I don't remember what they used to be called. I did just um, make it sitting to my computer desk and my wife saw me making it and she remembered making them at school. So that's quite a while ago. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but Seems to work as we just saw. A lot of it's to do with the wrist action. Right, so we've done that. Uh, where do we go next? I'm going to look at the one that I've just unfolded. Ah, yeah, I can see. Okay, fold that up like that. And down like that. So it comes down that way. Just do that again with the other one. So open it up so it folds down. Like that. That's an A4 sheet of paper I used. Some people ask me what paper I use. No. It does depend a lot on how loose the paper is, or tight even. Because when you flick it, that bit opens up and comes out like that. Yeah, not, that's either going to be too thick, that paper, or I'm not flicking it hard enough. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have used thinner paper. That's just not going to flick out easily enough. Let's work on it a bit, loosen it up. Double bend all the folds. Should weaken them a bit.
So that bit has got to come flying out like that. Nope, not doing it. I'm going to have to go and try some thinner paper like I used the first time. I was hoping using slightly thicker paper there'd have been more momentum to it and it would have come up and flicked out faster. But clearly my theory was wrong. Nope. Nope, can't get it out. Right, I'll go and get some thinner paper. Right, second attempt with some thinner paper. Done that, turn that one up to here. Let's just get that an extra fold. So up to there, spread it open, fold it down. trying to double fold them to soften the joins. I may be wrong doing it like that. Right. Oh, that nearly came out. Nearly did. Came out. No snap. out with a snap. Came out with a snap. Coming out easily now. Wonder if I could get that first one to work again. I say first one, the thicker one. out that time. It didn't pop but it came out. Out. Yeah, now we're working. It takes quite a jerk to get it working. So that's the thicker paper which didn't work when I tried it first of all. It is working now. That's the thinner paper that still took a couple of goes to get it going, didn't it? It's working now though. And that's my original one. Which sounds better. But then that's been used a few times, so it's probably loosened up. Yeah. I think that's all we're talking about. It's 
loosened up enough to come out easily. And the thick one. Ah, came out, no crack. No crack. Just. Maybe I'm holding it up too close, down the bottom. Ah, yes, I might have been holding it up too far up so it couldn't spread properly. Yeah, it's working now. So there you go. Don't know what they're called. I'm calling it a paper, paper snapper or a paper popper. Paper cracker. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. That's Mike Flight's idea. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.